Okay, this is Farm Radio, and today uh, we're not going to do a repair video, per se. Um, I'm wondering why I don't have screws in here. I'll get to that in a minute. Um, this, obviously, is a record player. This was found. I'll, I may insert a picture of what it looked like. Someone was doing a clean-out, and this was in the basement. Nasty, I'll show, I'll, like I say, I'll... It's still kind of grungy, but uh, it was in a uh, in a basement. They're like, do you want this old moldy record player? I'm like, of course, sure, I'll take it. So here it is. I've cleaned it up some. And uh, this is actually part of a pull-down record player. It's a VM-335 stereophonic from about 1968. And uh, 68, 69. And uh, the mice, it was, I had all mouse droppings in it and everything. I've cleaned all that out. Um, but all that's left, somebody has taken it out of the cabinet. All that was left is the, the speakers and the player. So I reached out to uh, Gary at thevoiceofmusic.com and uh, this is like, who'd, who'd, who'd guess this? I asked, I don't know how far, how deep your parts inventory goes, how far reach your inventory goes, but I said, do you happen to have a whole cabinet for a VM-335? I have the changer, the amplifier is good, and the amplifier, I believe, is mounted... It's mounted to the, um... It's mounted to the changer here, similar to what RCA did. There's a... The amplifier board is, is right there. Um, so it's mounted underneath on the changer. It's a 1200 series. Um, Again, it's pitted and it's it's rusty, but a, a tetrad, and uh, I've cleaned it out. Okay, so he said, let me check on that. So here we have. You just happen to have it's brown and it's three three five brown, the whole cabinet. Um, we may run into a problem only with some of the hardware to attach the speakers, but. Um, this is just the shell. Let's open it up, take a look at it. Again, now the only thing strange about this is uh, this is a 335-2 uh, cabinet. And the date here is stamped on it somewhere. Um, I don't know if that's 6 uh, something 571. It has another date stamp in it somewhere. That's, oh, there's 171 right there, uh, but it has another date stamp in it somewhere here. There, 2471. So, um, the only thing I could find on this being a dash 2, there's a dash, the SAMS has a dash 1 and a dash 3. Dash 2, in the SAMS anyway, crosses over to a true tone, so I wonder if this was a branded true tone, but it's going to be just the shell, so let's get this out and take a look at it. So it appears to come with new speaker enclosures. Again, it's just the plastic, see, it's not... So new replacement speakers, cabinets. But what I'm most interested in is the uh, cabinet itself. And he said he was going to include the um, the name plates. I have the name plates that go there and here. This was there must have been a handle. That's the only thing we don't have is is the handle. And there are the trim parts down there. Let's look at this cabinet a minute. All right, we seem to have these parts here, which we can transfer over to there. And there seems to be a panel up here, perhaps. So it says caution there. I don't know what is missing in the top here. And the uh, the speaker hinges are missing, but uh, all in all, we'll, uh, we'll put it together, because what are the chances of uh, coming across a, a brown cabinet for a, a VM-335? And the trim pieces I won't go into, but I will transfer this over and uh, Try and make a new record player out of an old one. This is funny. It looks like it accepts six by nines and five and a quarters or something to that effect. I don't know what's in these. 
have to compare one. In fact, it is the same. It's the same cabinet. I don't know what other cabinet pieces may be available, but well, it's like a six inch speaker in there. So other than some uh, miscellaneous pieces, I'm going to have to look one up to see what we have. But I, I think for the most part with the speakers and the player and the shell, it'll, it'll at least present itself well. So anyway, it's kind of a crazy thing, but uh, take advantage of it if I could get a new old stock cabinet for a, a beat up old mouse ridden uh, VM335 because I just never seen one of these before. So uh, other than the speaker brackets here that are missing, I'll have to maybe look at something that has something similar. Um, I don't know again how far maybe he can look up some of those parts. I don't know but for the most part I just dry fit the uh, the original one in here it swivels down like so. So it can be an operational uh, it's complete. Maybe the other the original cabinet cracked and broke? I don't know. I imagine there was some panel back here and some clasped when you close it. But for the most part and it had a handle but uh, we get another trash from trash to treasure story. So there you have it. A future project, the VM model 335 with new cabinet and uh, renewed speakers. As I was saying, two things. July 19th, 1969 is right there on the motor. And uh, the screws are in a in a in a plastic uh, bag, and so I do have the rest of the screws. Again, we'll look around for what one of these looks like to see what's missing or cabinet parts, what's available. This was for the 45 adapter. That's what that is for. Okay, one last thing. These are the trim pieces. I figured I'd take a look. They are a little different. I kind of like the original ones there, the two tone versus the brown and and black, but. Um, and what else? We also included uh, these two here, which is here and here, and the VM for the, which I believe would be on the top cover there. All right, that's it for now. And again, thanks for watching.